Welcome to another new lesson in Earth and Life Science. Today's lesson, we will be studying about the evidences of evolution. The Englishman Charles Darwin is one of the most famous scientists to ever live. Darwin's theory of evolution represents a giant leap in human understanding. It explains and unifies all of biology. Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection states that living things with beneficial traits produce more offsprings than others do. This produces changes in the traits of living things over time. During his voyage on the Beagle, Darwin made many observations that helped him develop his theory of evolution. His most important observations were made on the Galapagos Islands. Darwin was influenced by other early thinkers including Lamarck, Lyell, and Malthus. He was also influenced by his knowledge of artificial selection. Wallace's paper on evolution confirmed Darwin's ideas. It also pushed him to publish his book on the origin of species. The book clearly spells out his theory. It also provides evidence and logic to support it. Two major ideas in Darwin's theory of evolution. One idea is that evolution occurs. In other words, Organisms change over time. Life on Earth has changed as descendants diverge from common ancestors in the past. The other idea is that evolution occurs by natural selection. Natural selection is the process in which living things with beneficial traits produce more offsprings than others do. Evidences of Evolution In his book on the origin of species, Darwin included a lot of evidence to show that evolution had taken place. Since Darwin's time, much more evidence has been gathered. The evidences includes a huge number of fossils. It includes more detailed knowledge of living things, right down to their DNA. Fossil evidence Fossil evidence cl provide clear evidence that evolution has occurred. An example is the horse. The oldest fossil horses were about the size of a fox and had four long toes. They become taller to help them see predators while feeding in tall grasses. They evolved a single large toe that became a hoof that would help them escape predators. Their molars become longer and covered with cement that allow them to grind top grasses. Evidence from living species just as, what, just as Darwin did, today scientists study living species to learn about evolution. They compared anatomy, embryo, and DNA of modern organisms to understand how they evolved. Comparative anatomy Comparative anatomy is the study of similarities and differences in the structures of different species. Similar body parts may be homologies or analogies. Both provide evidence, evidences for evolution. Homologous structures are structures that are similar in related organisms because they were inherited from a common ancestor. These structures may or may not have the same function in the descendants. Figure shows the hands of several different mammals. They all have the same basic patterns of bones. They inherited this from a common ancestor. However, their forelimbs now have different functions. Analogous structures are structures that are similar in unrelated organisms. The structures are similar because they evolved to do the same job not because they were inherited from a common ancestor. 
For example, the wings of bats and birds look similar on the outside but different on the out inside. They also have the same function. However, wings evolve independently in the two groups of animals. Comparative Embryology Comparative embryology is the study of the similarities and differences in the embryos of different species. Similarities in embryos are evidence of common ancestry. All vertebrate embryos, for example, have gill slits and tails. All of the animals in the figure, except for fish, lose their gill slits by adulthood. Some of them also lose their tails. In humans, the tail is reduced to the tail bone. Vestigial structures Vestigial structures are structures like the human tailbone are called vestigial structures. Evolution has reduced their size because the structures are no longer used. The human appendix is another example of a vestigial structure. It is a tiny remnant of a once larger organ. In a distant ancestor, it was needed to digest food. It serves no purpose, however, in humans today. Comparing DNA Darwin could compare only the anatomy and embryo of living things. Today, scientists can compare their DNA. Similar DNA sequences are the strongest evidence for evolution from a common ancestor. Look at the cladogram. It shows how human and apes are related based on their DNA sequences. Evidences Evidence from Biogeography Biogeography is the study of how and why plants and animals live where they do. It provides more evidence for evolution. Let's consider the camel family. All of today's camels are descended from the same camel ancestors which lived in North America about a million years ago. Through natural selection, descendants of the original camel ancestors evolved the diversity they have today. Island Biogeographic Biogeography Consider the finches that Darwin studied on the Galapagos, which probably descended from one bird. The first bird was a seed eater. It evolved into many species adapted for different types of food. This is an example of adaptive radiation, a process in which a single species evolved into many new species to fill available niches. The following are the notes from the narration, which will can help you in your review later.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.